As any good psychologist will tell you, any good counsellor will tell you, especially if they're focused on trauma and recovery from trauma, the things and the mechanisms and the strategies that helped us to survive during a traumatic situation, if they are taken from that moment forward into our lives, into our present and into our future in the timeline of our lives, the things that saved us, literally saved us, will destroy us further down the road. There's a weakness in the chain. If you were a corporation and I came in and I did an assessment of it and I said everything is great, but this department is doing this and you're losing money that way, you would want to know. If you came for strength training or skill training and I said, oh, everything is great, but you should know this part of the chain, of the kinetic chain is weak. If you focus on it, if you strengthen it, everything else will get stronger and things will be better for you. You'd want to know, right? I'm letting you know now that there is a, a little numbness, a little blind spot, a little weakness here in the system that is you that probably needs some work. And it's it's not so hard to do the work. What I'm trying to present to you here is like non-judgmental, non, -judgmental, non uh, don't get into the weeds over whether that means you're a weak person or a strong person. There's no condemnation here. It's a systemic issue. It happens when trauma is present and it happens to everybody. And every human being on the planet is on a sliding scale. There's no perfection. There's no perfection you should aspire to. Don't aspire to be perfect. Just aspire to be better. Don't aspire for a perfect life. Just aspire to a more peaceful, saner one. That's gonna serve you far better. Please trust me on that one. Sanity, normality, balance, peace, go for them. Hedonistic fulfillment, perfect life, you know, trying to convince everybody around you that your life is better than theirs and making them jealous. All of these things are neurotic and in a karmic sense, in a Buddhist sense, if you set out to do something with a neurotic intent, all you will create is more suffering, more dukkha, as the Buddhists would say, in your own life and in other people's lives. So don't bother. Try to bring sanity to the space. Try to bring yourself back down to earth and the people around you back down to earth because it's not good to live in illusion. It's not good to be trying to live outside of yourself or trying to live somebody else's life in somebody else's way. It will make you very sick mentally, emotionally, and ultimately physically. So come back to reality, come back to your own life, consume less social media, consume less social media, consume less, just consume less.